it was an electricity thing, right? So it was this street spark, hello electricity, and they were painting electric boxes. So we picked people that had something to do with all, 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 all except for Roger Troutman, were scientists and had something with electricity. And I says, well, hey, we're gonna put Zap in there because Zap, you know, the whole play on words with Roger Troutman, who's also a Hamilton native. So we, we figured that they all mesh together as it pertains to elect, electric or electrifying the music industry. A good 50 people that worked on this together, you know, we, me and my team finished it, but the lion's share of the work were kids and families and people came from all over Hamilton and other places who worked on this like all day. It ran on us on Sunday, but Saturday it was it was all day. It was all day. And to see it, you know, hanging up in a school where kids can see it. And I and I think that it's a teachable moments if the kids actually like, you know, well, who are these people? So it can educate. And knowing that this was created as part of a, you know, the e spark, the, the community spark, the street spark, like Hamilton's on fire right now. You know, there, there's such an evolution. I've lived in the city now for 20 years and just to see the progression and to see the change and to see the spark and the electricity that's happening in our community, I think it becomes a talking point and to be able to bring this in to celebrate what's happening in our community as a family here at Wilson, that's what got me really excited. And that's why I think it's important to adorn the hallways right here in our main foyer. So everybody can see it. It's a beautiful thing when you create something and then it's placed somewhere where it's meaningful and definitely Hamilton Wilson Middle School is a meaningful place to have some artwork there.